Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I am reviewing the Real Steel Luna. Now, yes, yes, I am a little bit late to the game. This knife has been out for quite a while, and to be honest, hey, it's a fantastic knife. I think it is a very good knife, but do I think you should shell out the money for the lockback, lockback version or the liner lock version? Well, if you want a lock back or a liner a frame lock, then sure, do that. But if you don't need either of those things, get the lightweight, get the lightweight one. This is the lightweight model, which just indicated by um, it being made out of G10, and that's it. There are no steel liners in here. It's just two G10 slabs, two washers, and then screws and a blade. Um, this, I think, is the best iteration of this knife, primarily because it's so light and so, um, well, easy to use. It is a very simple knife to use. It is just a slip joint knife, and you can open it this way and that way, and it has a double detent on the opening. So, for me personally, I've used this knife just as a box cutter, a little bit of food, food prep, and um, a pencil sharpener. That is really the extent of my knives um, nowadays. I, I am really... I'm not using my knives as heavily as I used to just because, well, right now I'm working in an office and I don't need to cut down a lot of boxes and I don't really need to cut down zip ties or anything like that off of parcels. So for me, um, this is very, uh, a, very much a light use knife for me. Now, how does it compare to other knives in my collection? Well, here is a Chris Reeves Large 31 Sabenza, and then here is a Kershaw Blur, and you can see, yes, it's going to be a lot smaller than both of those knives. Now, for me personally, is that a problem? No, because, well, primarily what is being found in my pocket nowadays is this this is the victorinox they call it the model one but it's basically a pioneer with one blade now this knife here is pretty much what i carry on the everyday um, routine at work and for me it is pretty much all i need the other knife i carry is a large trapper and you can see there the handle is about the same size as a trapper from case and then the blade on the case is much longer but as for a knife blade for me this is all i really need it comes in under three inches which means it's going to be legal in a lot of different places and for me personally this blade has been fantastic it's ground very well and it came very sharp and one of the things i love about it is it is in d2 now for a long time i had been straying away from d2 primarily because well i was getting a lot of rust well lately i've been moved to a new location and there's not a lot of moisture in the air in that location since it's air conditioned and everything. So rust has not been really a problem for me. So I'm now able to carry this a little more readily. The thing that I have found that I do not like and I just need to get this thing apart is taking the clip off. Um, I usually just throw this in the bottom of my pocket with my keys and the clip catches on everything and it doesn't have enough tension to really keep the pocket uh, pocket knife in my pocket when it comes to getting up. It gets snagged on a bunch of stuff and it usually slips out of my pocket and falls on the floor. Thankfully, I just am able to find it. The thing that I don't like about this knife, and this is just the biggest thing that I don't like so far, is it's not a double-sided pivot screw and it's not captured. So for me, having this one screw here has kept me from getting this apart. I'm just probably going to get a blowtorch on this and loosen up the Loctite that is there. But for me personally, it has hindered me taking this thing apart and then taking the pocket clip out. That's right. You have to take this whole knife apart just to be able to get the clip out because the screws are on the interior, not the exterior, which leads to a nice clean design. But it means if you want this gone, you have to take the whole thing apart. That's that's right. So if you haven't taken a knife part yet, you're going to learn how to with this. So other than that negativity with this knife, I find this thing to be absolutely perfect and a fantastic knife to carry. So till the next one, I will talk to you guys later and I hope you enjoyed this review. Bye-bye.